Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of German Chocolate, Life of a Mixed Girl. I'm Jessica Vivian, a.k.a. German Chalk. And after I did another solo episode, I was getting lonely in my booth. So I have another friend with me. All right, it's Friday, so I felt like singing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll see, I'm like out here all in black, and over there we got all the nice colors. So today... If you follow me on Instagram, you probably also follow Gettys, and that's who it is. Gettys Gibbs Jr. Uh, is originally from Brooklyn, New York, currently lives in Pennsylvania. Um, he's also a voice actor, and the coolest thing, the funnest fact, and the main reason I was like, yeah, let's do this together is because I know nothing about this. He's a puppeteer. So we've been friends on Instagram for quite a while. We met in a, a voiceover workout with Real Voice LA. Ooh, I think a lot of people we met there. <laughs> and um, yeah, and he's so supportive. I love how supportive you are of the, the entire community. Every time somebody shares like a win or, or, or does something really great, you're always like the first to like add it to your stories and share it. And my heart like always opens up so much when I see all the love and support this goes out. So thank you so much. And um, what I didn't know is that you also have a puppet troupe, which you're going to have to explain a little bit for us who are not part of this, what that means, called the Brooklyn Puppet Squad. If you go to TikTok especially, they have their own account. And um, <laughs> very unexpectedly, the puppets especially do lip sync so to like scenes of movies and TV shows, which is funny because that's what I do on TikTok with myself, my face. <laughs> and you have the puppets. So... Hello, Gettys. Jessica Vivian, thanks for having me. It is quite an honor to be here. I am really excited. When you're always on Instagram and kind of commenting and sharing stuff, you you create this bond and friendship. But then when you actually get to um, talk face to face, it's different. And we missed each other at the uh, voiceover conference in Atlanta. I was so sad. Yes, I was only able to attend Thursday and Friday. I was unable to afford all days. Well, same for me. I was like, I, I couldn't take off from work during the week, and and those things are pretty pricey. <laughs> uh, so I was only able to uh, afford the weekends. So you get FOMO. I'm sure that you had some FOMO, too, after you left. I had FOMO while I was watching you guys, uh, too. You have to tell everyone, because I just asked you this, too. What is your <laughs> vocal booth inspired by, like, the super colorful booth? Well, my vocal booth is inspired by... Nickelodeon, which is uh, which the those colors have been trending for quite a while since uh, since the late 2010s. Um, I got that idea from fellow voice actor who is also a kid, and she used to be the voice of Lincoln Loud on the Loud House. His what? his name is his name is Asher Bishop. Shout out to you, man. Shout out. Shout and out. if you haven't noticed, up top the green is the slime. The slime. <laughs> the slime. Everybody gets slimed. Celebrities get slimed. Even maybe you I have yourself a... might get slimed. <laughs> I was gonna say I gotta be on the lookout. Maybe you called somebody. Maybe I'll get slimed, or maybe you'll get slimed. <laughs> <laughs> it's my lifelong so... dream to get slimed. Maybe we'll make that happen one day. <laughs> get slimed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So what came first, puppeteering or voice acting? Well, voice acting came first as well as puppeteering at the same time, because uh, I, I, I gained my interest in those fields back in February of 2017, which uh, after I dropped myself off, sorry, dropped out of college with because uh, it is not working out for me in in any way, shape, or form, and I need to get myself a career change in that matter. You know, that's so, so good that you say that because a lot of people are scared to do that. So it's very commending to a lot of people are scared. Like I spent money on college and I need to finish this. So it's very brave and good to say, hey, this is not working out and I need a change and I'm just going to go for it. So that's really cool. Yeah, to be honest, I am not much of a school slash college slash university person i didn't think i was either uh <laughs> going to school I, I was always very like average i didn't think i was ever gonna um make it in college so 
I guess once you find your interest, and for me, like working full time and going to school uh, online helped me a little bit because, yeah, the frustration and tears with all of the stuff that comes with traditional schooling, but um, I still had like a life. So very cool. So you say, but what was the main thing that made you realize voice acting and puppeteering that's that did you just do some soul searching or how did it happen well it just it just came up came up on my head um i've done some researching uh digging up on on the internet and uh that's how it's uh that's how it's trending all over the the entire entertainment world um that got that got me that that got me interested in voiceover was uh was this one TV show that 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 caught my caught my attention and I've seen I've seen interviews behind the scenes and everything else in general that has to do with it and I'm thinking maybe I could maybe I should get on the band bandwagon as well cuz that seems quite interesting for me to do so what was that show what was it oh it's called Nickelodeon's The Loud House. Oh, it's so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you ever get to do any of um the voiceover trainings where one of the uh directors was like there uh, from The Loud House or ever uh meet somebody from the show since then? Well, when I when I started watching the show, I haven't done any any meetups and uh or or anything else since Sorry, before uh, until two thousand eighteen, because back in two thousand eighteen, I met this one voice actress who was the most awesome voiceover actress in the entire industry of a voiceover. Her name is Gray Delisle, or later on called Gray Griffin. Oh, I see. How did that happen? I I first met her back in. NYCC called, or New York Comic Con. Uh huh. Oh, I see. And, you uh, went there last year, or this year? Was it this year? No, nah, it was back in October of 2018. Yeah, but I think you do. You go every year because I think I've seen on your Instagram that you went, and I wanted to go so bad after I saw yeah, we all do your that. videos. My brother and I, we do that. That's our favorite Gibbs Brothers tradition. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my gosh. I love that. We're, my son and I are trying to do like a tradition because here in, in Tampa, there's a really big anime convention. And we went last year and we're still debating and we don't have much time to think of what we want to cosplay this year. <laughs> I'm not a sewer, so we're going to have to buy something. So that's cool. I love that you do that like a like a family thing. OK, so what was your first puppet and can we meet him, her or them? Oh, you're about to meet him right now. <laughs> I first got him back in early 2018 from the Brooklyn Puppet Conspiracy website. Ooh, that's... There he comes. I can't believe he chose this one. Oh, my God. Ah! Here he is. What's the name? <laughs> ah! his, his name is Seymour Sapphire. Say, say hi to the camera. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> You, oh. guys, you don't know you're my favorite, actually. I actually pulled up a video because I was going through um, your TikTok, and you were my favorite on there, and that's the one I picked that was lip syncing. So, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Miss Jessie. <laughs> wow. That, that, that's, that's, that, that sounds quite familiar. I've, I've met all the, other, all the other Jessicas on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all over. <laughs> Probably you? you're the first one I get to meet virtually. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so where do you get to hang out? Do you have your own bed in there or how does that work? Well, after I get played by uh by this guy right here, um I usually I usually sit um hold on. I usually get hanged on the on the closet shelf and uh you just uh Hmm. We just lay there until he's <laughs> to be performing us again, and that's basically it. 
Do you have beef with anyone else that you're laying with, or are you all cool? I am all cool. I love to be friends with other puppets, other humans, and everybody else. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're the big brother of the whole troop. So that's cool. So who's your newest member, your newest friend? Oh, um, hold on one second. <laughs> dim, dim, You're right dim, back. Dim, 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 dim. Ooh, we get to see the booth opening and closing. So if you are watching on video, then you get to experience it. If not, you should go to YouTube or Spotify and definitely watch it because you're missing out. Oh, I know this guy. Hey, hey. This is my, this is my first look-alike puppet. His his name is Mini G. I was gonna ask you that because I felt like that's probably what it was. Is he custom made, or did you just pick one that was the closest to that you felt like that embodies you? Oh, I'm from the Etsy website, man. I I just he just he just came by and uh, he gave me a design, uh, what do you, what I look like, the the picture, and everything else. He, he reminds me of me because he is also a Brooklyn Nets fan. Ballin'! <laughs> <laughs> That's my word, baby. <laughs> Woo, you bring in the game on this Friday. What? Oh, you, oh, you know it. Uh, for a long time, I don't want to, to, to attend to the Brooklyn Nets game for, for like, forever. Ever since I, uh... Ever since I got introduced back in April 20, 2020. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So do you have plans on going? Anything in the making? You get a chance? Yeah, my man right here, he's, work, he's working a job. And all he has to do is make that money and get them tickets to the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets basketball game. Woohoo! Ooh, don't we all have to make that money? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're definitely going to have to share and go live on Instagram once you get a chance to go. We all need to see that. What, what, what? Oh, I plan to do just that. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So, what are you working on these days? We talking about me or him? Well, you, you, you. You get to do anything? Or you've been sleeping the last few days? I used to be, I used to be active in like the past three years or so, but nowadays I just sit back, relax, and uh, let all my, let all my, all my puppet peeps do the, do the entertaining. Aww. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the leader of the Brooklyn Puppet Squad, and uh, my, my puppets right there, they just like to have fun. Me, Ooh, the I leader. Just, you I need to close your do. ears because I need to ask Geddes a question. So don't listen, but Geddes, which one's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite is all of them. Oh, okay. That's the perfect answer. That's the perfect answer. I mean, you can't go wrong anyways, but yeah, you can't discriminate. I'm sure your heart like a little bit is with everyone, like with the, with every child has their own qualities. <laughs> So let's how so how does it work? So one hand is in there, like in the mouth, and then you have the other for um to move the hands. Yeah, that is that is correct. Mm, or is there like is there like a magician secret, but like for puppets, like a secret of something you are not allowed to disclose <laughs> of how it works? Well, all you all you gotta do is just uh stick your hand right in there and you uh come up with come up with some kind of kind of funny voice it could be normal it could be raspy it could be anything that you could that you could imagine oh i love that does it when you have the puppet on do, do you feel like it gives you more freedom to be differently because as a voice actor already when you like cool i'm gonna be this character and i get to be a little different but once you have your hand in there do you immediately feel like i'm in the zone Oh, I guess you could say that. Huh, I you love could that. say just that. <laughs> huh. Let me see. What so they're all your favorites. You've been doing this for a few years now. Do you have like a dream you want to do, but at the same time also a certain goal of something you'd like to achieve? Well, there is one goal. One that I've been trying to do for quite a long time since 2021. 
I want to I wanted to pursue my full-time career as a voiceover artist as well as a puppeteer because you get to connect with your your clients your uh your fellow voiceover actors and uh you can just get to do exactly what you want to do with with your occupations in in those fields what's the market like for puppeteering like uh, what what kind of jobs does one book if is it like parties and events or how can somebody who's not in the puppeteer world like imagine what a career in puppeteering looks like well it can be for parties events um classes workshops um all i did was just classes and workshops back in uh back um years ago at the puppet kitchen in new york new york where i've met uh eric wright as well as some other some other puppeteers who are in the Sesame Workshop and or the Jim Henson Company. So is it, if you uh, get work, is it scripted work, kind of still like acting, voice acting, or is it you bring your own stories or very improvisational? What does it look like working? It's script work, and and you can bring your improvisational talents with you. That's really cool. How did you come up with the uh, uh, lip syncing was that something that happened in the pandemic when we all got on tiktok and started lip syncing <laughs> oh lip lip syncing has lip syncing for puppetry has been going on for a very long time like back in 1960s 70s where jim henson he's the he's the man behind all the muppets and the sesame street characters and everything in general he he does the lip syncing for for puppetry he does that for for shows, movies, um, special events, award shows, and all others. Nice. So which one of your puppets is the wildest in the bunch? Well, <laughs> I would say there is one character who I just introduced since last year. Uh, oh, can you wait? No, His name like is... Malgar the Troll. <laughs> oh my gosh. He looks like a mixture out of I'm so devious, but also like tired at the same time. Hello, mister. Hello there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully I can sleep tonight. Oh. I hope you do, because you'll never know when I might pop up on in your dreams. Oh, I need to get a dream catcher ASAP. <laughs> ah, are you being nice to the others? I am being nice, but sometimes I might be very mischievous. <laughs> mm -hmm. I figured I have a good sense of people and I can sense that mischievousness over here. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Which one's the most different from your personal uh, personality. Here comes another. Oh, I'm picking all the right questions. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Dominic P. Blackson. He is yeah. the most coolest, most laid back type of character in the entire group. Hey there, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow, just enjoying the nice cool breeze and Hopefully, make everybody get along as, as we, you know, as we entertain ourselves into the entire puppetry TikTok world. Aww. Well, your eyeshadow matches the booth, and I love that. And plus, purple's my favorite color, so maybe you might be in my fave category now. <laughs> we should oh, do a collab. Want to do a collab one day with me? I would be on it. Oh, I love to do just that. I love to do that with every human and every puppet. Oh, sounds like a cool challenge you got to come up with. I got to talk to Geddes about all of the specs, but I'm going to see you on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you can catch me on TikTok and Instagram, along with everybody else, along with all our friends in the puppet troupe. 
Man, Geddes is so lucky he's not like a lonesome wolf in his booth. He got all of you to cheer him up all the time. Oh. Yeah, they, they cheer me up a lot whenever That's so I'm cute. feeling stressed or down or anything in general. I can imagine. Oh my God, thank you so much for introducing them. Is there somebody that you really wanted to show that we definitely should not miss that you haven't shown yet? Well, that's basically all the characters that I have right now, and Good. more, pu more puppet characters will be coming in the future. Ooh, is there a particular one you're looking forward to, like saving uh, towards, or that kind of just happens in the moment when you're like, that's the one? I only give it. I only give out information as a surprise. Because I did see you have like your VO demo and your puppet fund uh, going right now. Is it something that people can participate in? Is it like an open fund or is it you saving in, in the envelope for, for your goals? Just me saving in the envelope. I love it. My mom does that too. And it's really cool because when you put like hard cash money in an envelope, then it's really there versus when you kind of have it on your bank account and you're like, cool, let me just keep it there. It's just so much more. Uh, do you have a goal by when uh, you want to achieve a certain amount or are you just putting it away for until whenever you reach it? I'm just putting it away until whenever I reach it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good way to go. I love that, you know, you bring the patience in it. You've been in it for years and it's so much joy. Like uh, I can only speak for myself in a sense, but I don't know. I'm always rushing to the next thing and always trying to do stuff. And, and I feel like all you, you do in the sense you like work so hard, you take Like, I swear, every, like, workout or workshop, I'm like, oh, my God, Gettys is there, too. It's like you're constantly training. You're, you're like, the master of doing all kinds of challenges, like voiceover ones. You're like, oh, there's a new challenge out. I'm going to go with that challenge. And I got a new script somewhere. So all that hard work and all the joy you bring, it's, it's so nice when I, like, open my Instagram and then I see something new. So I am... I would say I'm really lucky to have you as my friend and now get to, like, have you... here virtually on on my podcast. Oh yes, it is quite an honor. Um, I am so sorry that I that, that we didn't get a chance to meet in person last in the last two months, but I'm I'm so glad we get to meet virtually again. We should definitely take another class. Are you doing the workouts weekly? Well, no, because uh, uh, I am currently in the process of saving for my voiceover demo for my my voiceover demo, which. Everyone has it, and right now, it is it is my turn to get into this into the bandwagon of voiceover demos because that is the most very important calling card for everybody for everybody to showcase their vocal abilities in Oh the yeah. entire industry. I mean, and you've been really uh, practicing so hard with so many different people. It's time to get it out there. It's it's really nice to put it together, script it together. Is it going to be an animation demo or a commercial one or uh is it a what what kind or narration? It's going to be a commercial demo. Nice, no, super important. I definitely need a new one. I'm like always really ashamed at this, this point to say that I even have a commercial demo because it's one of those I like got started I did a three-month program and then it was like cool let's do the demo and oh my god I'm like so I'm embarrassed of it but it's there <laughs> I, I also need a commercial one so I'm right there with you and we're about to get kicked out I think in a few minutes which I apologize that I do not have a paid version of zoom Yeah, um so I hear you. We're going to come and jump back in to officially join the weekend. But for the rest of y'all, we can just say good night, have a good evening. And is there anything you want to share with anyone when it comes to motivation and puppeteering or anything? Keep on practicing. Never give up. Yes. And I will see you in a moment again. And everyone else, see you next time. Do -do 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 -do. Later. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out.